if you wanted something manageable for a beginner, but also more motorcycle for the money than the 250cc offerings out there, check out the Honda CBR500R. Right now Honda is the only sports bike manufacturer offering a 500cc class bike brand new. Suzuki no longer offers the wonderful GS500F. I myself started on the GS500, and Kawasaki stopped making the Ninja 500 dark in 2009. Those two bikes can still be acquired in the used market, and I actually recommend that you look at something used if you are buying a motorcycle for the first time. If, however, you are dead set on getting something off the showroom floor in 500cc, Honda is your only option. Let's talk about first things first, initial impressions of the CBR500R. It simply looks like a much larger bike compared to some of the other offerings in the beginner motorcycle class. The tires are much wider than they would be on something like the Ninja 300 which gives it a full-size feel. It also sports more leg room than most bikes in the sub-600cc class because of lower foot bags. If you are at all concerned about being too big, tall to fit on a Ninja 300, definitely go to a dealership and sit on the CBR 500R. No motorcycle article would be complete without a spec rundown. The Honda comes with liquid cooled 471cc dual overhead cam parallel twin engine. Its gearbox is 6 speed and feels absolutely amazing while shifting. Honda definitely spent time on the transmission of this bike, and it shows. You can pick up this bike for around $6,000 from a local dealership. That's over a grand more than the Ninja 300, but you get quite a bit for your money. Is the extra leg room, more power, Honda reliability, and softer looks worth that extra dough? Only you can decide. You will find that the leg room. Seat height and riding position make the bike much more comfortable for someone of larger stature. When riding the CBR you will find that it has a very flat toward curve that red lines at around 8,500 RPMs, revolutions per minute in the engine. What that means is you have access to lots of power no matter how fast you are going. The bike will have the same power starting off the line as it will once it gets up to freeway speeds. Bikes like the Ninja 300 need to get the RPMs up quite high before you start to feel a surge of power speaking of the freeway, if you plan on doing freeway riding, that is where the CBR really seems to shine. It has a softer suspension than either the Ninja 300 or CBR 250. That makes it great for cruising at higher speeds or navigating back roads. The bike is heavier than most 250s or 300cc motorcycles which means an easier ride and being pushed around less by the wind when you are at freeway speeds. The Honda's seat is also 